hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber mwah, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it in today's video i'm going to be talking about the books i read in december hear me out okay so i've been really really busy and i forgot i had not recorded it so i'm so sorry in december i read only one physical book i'm gonna explain in december i went on a staycation in lagos and i didn't carry physical books that i wanted to read with me and also when i was coming back from lagos i came back with a lot of books so I was just all over the place but I carried my Kindle so most of the books I read are on my Kindle. Yeah, I'm going to start with The Vanak because of Wonderland for the First Street is this book. It's a Christmas vibe book. I think there are seven books in this series but I did not know before I bought this book. When I was reading it, it was so so good. It talks about this family, the Vanderbikas, and they're about to lose their house. So the kids don't want to leave the house and then their landlord wants to send them away because it's kind of like tired of their wala and stuff like that uh these kids decided to try to win the art of the landlord and it was like oh my god everything they were doing their old personalities i was just laughing i felt so happy reading this i just felt like it gave the christmas vibe so if you want to actually get into it i think but 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 like i said they are kids but you know in the family the old family dynamics and everything this is a very very good read i gave it a five stars because i really really loved it so at this point i'm not going to be talking in a particular order but i just like to hold my i like to hold something when i'm talking so i'm going to hold my kindle because all these other books i read on my kindle one of the books i read was window shopping by tessa bailey this book was actually very very sweet it's about hayden and stella the both of them just met at the window so stella is a window dresser but something happened she went to prison so this was aiden giving her another chance so he gave her a job and stuff like that and you see their romance but i felt like it was instant love and the way the personality was described and the way aiden was i just couldn't picture it like i'm like this is happening but i just felt like it's a very very simple cute read that you can actually read i gave it a 3.5 stars okay so i doubled into some alien smut i read the bubble base bubble babes series and i also read ice planet barbarian series bubble babes actually has just three books out right now but i think ice planet barbarian is already completed in bubble babes the first book was all i wanted was sushi but i got abducted by aliens i gave this one a four stars that's why you see all the old beginning where they were abducted by aliens but you don't see how they were but you just see them being abducted and it's about kian and opal and kian is like the prince in this planet and opal is just a girl that is so you know she's chubby and i like that that she's chubby so they met in the tramp where they were being transported and the funniest thing is that opal is the honniest person i've ever seen in a book because what the flip mama was trying to you know and then he was trying to help her out and they could communicate because there's this translator thing that was given to them immediately they moved to that planet so that they can actually understand the aliens yes i really, really like the fact that opal even though she got lucky she was still thoughtful towards the other people the other humans then um the second one all i wanted was to be a scientist but i have got an only on boyfriend it's about jess and gareth honestly i did not like jess's character at all like i understand our old determination to be recognized by herself without a man i understand that and i love it but i just didn't like the way she was all no 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 like gareth was really really trying it's not his fault that he got the maid bond with you like what is your like it's not his fault and he's trying to understand you but you keep acting and you now even use your own two leg and enter a place where they were not treating you and then you're not angry that they were treating you like oh, guys yes yes i don't want to spoil the book i gave that one a 3.5 stars then the third one which is my favorite all I wanted was a glass of vinyl, but I got kidnapped by an alien duke. This one, I gave it five stars about Raphael and Martha. Well, Raphael is the duke and he's trying to revive the ecosystem, the normal way they are supposed to be in their planet. And they are like shark boys, yes? So him having a human mate is against, kind of not against, but doesn't go in line with the fact that you're trying to be like a normal alien but you now have an human as your mate so he kidnapped Martha and put her in his wardrobe 
guys i really, really like this one because it was just the little little things that rafael was doing for Martha. the things that you'll be like ah, this guy cannot do this and he was doing it and it was nice and mm -mm. mind you these books are very very spicy like very very spicy it's alien smart for a reason then i read ice planet barbarian and also talk about how they were abducted and they're trying to escape so this was where vector and georgie met vector was, was just hunting and then he saw georgie in the snow and he had a mate bond guys imagine you waking up to mm -mm -mm, that was what happened she woke up to that and she was like what's happening and they could not understand each other unlike bubble babes where they were given the translator from the beginning this one it was difficult communicating with the alien so vectal and georgie had this you know a little bit of barrier communication barrier but he tried his best to understand her and all that and she saved her friends you know that kind of vibe in bubble babes they were more modernized they had technology in I saw the barbarians. They didn't really have technology like that. And the second one, Barbarian Alien. Guys, this was actually similar to the second book in Bubble Babes because here, Rahush and Liz. Liz was also like, you know, uh, this, 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 and that, that, that. I'm like, you can actually, you are okay to have your opinion, but don't make every other person around you feel so bad because of your own opinion. No, everybody also has their own. Everybody also went through what you went through. Yes, you might have gone through more difficult things, but at the same time, don't feel like you're the only one going through this. I didn't really like the way she was acting. I gave it a four star because I really, really liked Raul. She is more like the outcast of that planet that kind of thing because of something his parents did then i tried to read talk santa to me by linda Oban. i dnf'd at 13 percent because i i was just not getting into the story i don't even like maybe because i'm i don't understand because i was trying my best to understand it from the beginning but i kept getting lost kept getting lost and when i still not okay forced myself to you know okay okay let me see because i don't like to dnf books to be quite honest but when i realized i was not really like and then we we're talking about someone sticking out his tongue uh, at her and they were keep they kept on doing that i'm like what is happening this oh, i just dnf'd it jerry dnf then i read reminders of him by colin Hoover. so this book just had me thinking because I, I i kept putting myself in everyone's shoes the parents shoes the grandparents shoes the friends shoes our shoes and i realized that it's very very difficult and terrifying oh my god this book tore me apart so it's about this girl named kina and she's trying to have a relationship with her daughter she was in prison and she gave birth in prison so her daughter was taken from her and she was in prison for a reason so her daughter was taken from her to live with her grandparent you start to see the reason why she was in prison in the first place and then you are now torn apart you don't even know who you are supposed to side because when you try to side with her and then you decide to side with this person and this person and this person it was just so sad honestly i felt so sad and ledger ledger is best friends with kian's ex-boyfriend so he also started having feelings for Kian, Kina. I keep calling her Kian, Kina, and he didn't know that she was, you know. So it's quite crazy because you see their chemistry. You understand that they are really, really in love. Like they are meant to be for each other, but you're not like ah in this situation. I gave it a five star, guys. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Yes, I did. I read Snowed In by Catherine Walsh, guys. I really like this one. So it's about a girl. I forgot her name but she left her, her boyfriend on the altar like they were about to get married and she ran away that is one reason why i love this book i like that the reason why she left him on the altar is a very very good reason it's not of all this you know cheesy reason like oh he cheated on her and then she found out no the reason was so solid and i really really supported that so she left and then she ran away she never came back to her, her city again and tried to be herself and stuff like that but she now had to come back because she missed her family and stuff like that so she met with one of her friends and this friend was not is not like i think they're like enemies so they were snowed in according to the title it's also fake dating <laughs> so she had to fake date with that one to show the town that she had already moved on but this her ex-boyfriend that she left on the altar was trying to come back what kind of is that anyway so 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 yes uh, but i just liked it i like the way that love was i like the fact that he really really saw her i like when guys see who you are they're not like okay i love you because you're cute and yeah, yeah, yeah. and another thing i liked is the fact that she can crochet oh my god she was when she was young she used to crochet socks i think it's a socks and sweater for ships 
oh my god it was so funny she was so cute oh my god and then christian's family's dynamic i love his family so much i love his family i was just like wow this family is just a big family but with so much love you know that kind of vibe and there's a book one i didn't even know that this was a book two so i wanted to read book one but i was like it's not christmas anymore so maybe next year oh maybe this year you know so that's, yeah yeah i gave it a 4.5 stars i really really liked it i don't even remember why i didn't give it a five stars but it didn't give me that feeling of five stars you know then the next book i read was tearless by Ayo the forge she sent it to me on instagram and i was like oh my god because she's a very very nice author like the author herself she's very very friendly and nice because i was having some conversations with her but Aside that, I really enjoyed her book, Tearless. It talks about a girl that cannot shed a tear. So because of that, her father like tagged her as a witch and started maltreating her. And then something happened where the family had to separate. So you kind of see her trying to bring her family back, her siblings back together, trying to build a relationship with them. I felt like she tried too hard, to be quite honest. Because if it was me, I'll have given up along the way. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to do this and you are not interested so what am i first myself that is me that is me <laughs> but yeah i gave it a, a four stars there were so many nice quotes you can't always force destiny you need to learn when to let go it will happen if it will happen that's one of them that's one of them and this is the last book i'm going to be talking about which is this spells love by kate rob i think it was a new book that just came out in that same december i read this with my friend promise it was actually fun because we we're actually talking about it as we were reading it and we are already giving ourselves our opinions i love reading books with people it's so 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 good it's about Gemma and dax they are best friends and Gemma is just getting out of a bad relationship she was just healing and she's in love with well she's in love with dax but she doesn't want to actually pursue that and dax is also in love with her but he doesn't want to lose her friendship so something happened like she made a wish and then she was transformed into another dimension where she and Dax are just meeting and they're not in a relationship. So something happened, she has to make a choice. And um, I like the fact that she made the right choice because at the end of the day, I learned from this book that whatever choices you make affects other people around you, not just you. And I really liked it. I love a sister, Kirst. I want to actually see a story about Kirst because she's just giving this funny cool mom vibe then a hunt and to leave oh my god i don't know if that woman is a witch or something so i gave it a four stars so guys that's all i read in december i'm so sorry my camera kept over eating and dying on me but i finally done this video i just hope i don't have to refilm it because then i'll be so pissed because i can't remember everything i just said so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this please tell me which one you read one of those ones you actually loved among these ones i talked about and also the ones you actually recommend for me to check out this year 2024 so i'll see you guys in my next video which is i think probably going to be all because i just need to edit yes i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching the uses wait wait i think i'm spoiling the book already no 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 oh my god the glare from my glasses is disturbing i know oh but my eyes are swollen okay i'm going to try in the mirror oh wait let me do this again I actually i don't know if this is still recording or hey god okay it's still recording